Can you guys see the butterfly? Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Good morning guys from the Amalfi Coast. I didn't film anything last week because Alex and I ended up getting really sick. We were literally bedridden for like six days and we extended our stay in the last place we were because we just were too weak to move and have a travel day but we arrived to the Amalfi Coast yesterday. You can probably tell from my voice that I still sound a little bit raspy. I feel so much better, but yeah, my voice and I just have like a little bit of a cough, but compared to what I was, I feel much better. And I can't believe right now I'm having breakfast and this is my view. Literally freaking heaven. <laughs> post-shower skincare. After spending a few weeks with Moira and Zanthi, I went and bought a gua sha. I had one of these in Oz, but I didn't bring it because I didn't really use it much when I was in Australia. But I have a newfound love now and I feel like <laughs> my face is way less puffy for it. So I keep it with my face oil in the fridge. It's so funny how when you're away, or I know that I find when I'm away, especially for like such a long period of time like I am right now. These little morning rituals really help me feel more grounded and just like I have a sense of routine. I wonder if you guys can visibly see a difference in my face puffiness <laughs> before I started this clip and now. But honestly, I don't even care. It just feels so freaking good. Oil in the fridge and gua sha in the freezer, game changer. <laughs> Gotta put my earrings back in because it's, I've already lost two earrings so far this trip and there's nothing more frustrating because when you're overseas it's so hard to like collect mail if I wanted to order another pair of the same. I lost my favorite Majuri pair. Um, I think I actually unboxed them in a recent video. It was like the Charlotte style. I loved them. I was wearing them every single day. And then over in Greece, I dived off of the back of the boat and lost one. We're gonna lay here and dry off. And then I think we're actually gonna go back to the room and do some work. It's funny, just before we were saying how, although we obviously love being here so much and it's like the best feeling in the world, we're like craving routine. We actually like miss working. So I think we're gonna turn this day into a little bit of a work day, but we have a really fun night planned. We're doing a cooking class 
at the most dreamiest home restaurant or like home kitchen. I can't wait to show you guys. I've been so excited about this for a while now. I'm definitely gonna bring you guys along to that. I've got you guys sitting on my little litre water bottle and then I've put this like pillowcase here because for some reason it gives me reassurance in my mind that if my camera fell, it would like stop it from falling off the cliff. This is the drop off. I just got the saddest news. Our cooking class that I was so excited for that we were meant to be doing tonight has been cancelled. They actually let me know yesterday, but I wasn't on my emails yesterday. So I missed the email until I was like going to get ready for it because I was just going to confirm the address for the driver. So I'm actually so sad about it. If you could probably tell by my voice earlier, I've been looking forward to this for so long, but it's okay. I have faith that the next time I'm here, I'll be able to go to the same place. And they were super apologetic. Like something had come up in the family. So slight change of plans. We've actually just booked a restaurant. Sorry, there's a boat going past. I don't know if you can hear me. So we're going to another restaurant instead now that looks like it's like home cooked family vibes, which is kind of what I love. Um, our hostess recommended it to us and I spoke to the lady on WhatsApp and we're getting picked up from Minori. So we're gonna walk into Minori in a little bit and then we have a driver picking us up and they're gonna like take us up the hills. Thank God we don't have to walk up the hills. So I'm sure it'll still be really good anyway. No idea what I'm gonna wear just yet. I'm already getting bored of like the small selection of clothes that I bought. We actually left most of our things in London and Alex and I just shared one big suitcase which makes traveling around Europe so much easier because suitcases in Europe just don't mix. Lucky for me, we are meeting up with friends. We go to Spain next um, and I'm meeting up with my cousin and another one of my friends from home. So I'm sure the suitcases will be communal again. I'm a girl who loves to wear different things each day and also with the amount of sweat. So you find a washing machine, which most places don't have a washing machine. This place doesn't have a washing machine. Um, I can't really wear it again just because it's so stinky. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up my makeup and then um, figure out what I wanna wear. I feel like doing my eyebrows in the viewfinder is gonna be dangerous. I'm gonna go to the mirror. All right, I think for me to fully get in frame but i think this is the fit i'm going with i'm wearing my bali taylor sandals because they're like the only nicer shoe that i have but i want to wear my denim and brown bag but i can't wear brown leather with black shoes do you see my dilemma If only I wasn't living out of a suitcase, I would so buy these too. How cute is this? Oh my God. The same for the hour product. When we don't have the angry tree, we have the And now I say, I have the peace. When we pick, when I'm ready from the tree, yeah, yeah. but the tomato we want to go to buy and stay four or five days to the market yeah. and then arrive in the shop, they must pick green. Oh, man, earlier. <laughs> <laughs> they forgot.
go to tell us that it's a, it's a pickup it's a pickup only they don't really drop, drop you drop back so we've music. got like <laughs> <laughs> we've got to get to like all the way around that cliff and around another bend and around another cliff so we potentially could be walking for the next two and a half hours <laughs> Some really bad fires coming on around where we are at the moment, so it's very smoky outside. Morning, sir. How did you sleep Same. after our 11 kilometer walk home last night? <laughs> Okay, honest update as to how I'm finding this book. One of my friends told me that it was like really shit and that they also really struggled to read it. So I feel like I've got that in my head now, but I feel like the plot just like isn't going anywhere. So I only read like 10 pages at a time and it's just really dragging. I don't know if I should keep it going or not. Anyways, we're currently just laying on the deck chairs at our accommodation. I think we're gonna go back to our room soon and make some lunch. Maybe we could try that. <laughs> 